It's been quite some time. We have finally succeeded in reaching you. You have been imprisoned once more. This time, not by the God of Control, but a different entity. One who's bound you through your future. However, you held fast to your free will and believed in your bonds, allowing your friends to regain their own realities. You are on the verge of grasping a potential reality once more. Our meeting again now, within this place, is proof enough. It seems the time has come. We are merely beings who provide aid to humans as they carry out their will. You must be the one to determine the path and actions to take. If the will of rebellion still thrives within you, then we will surely meet again. Lady Lavensa told you that? We ought to tell everyone else that too. Let's all meet up after school. Um... Uh... Good morning. <sighs> um... I'm sorry. I can't believe what I tried to do to you two. I genuinely cannot apologize enough for what happened. Oh, come on. There's no need for that. More importantly, how have you been? Physically, I'm fine. But mentally... <sighs> to be entirely honest, I'm all mixed up. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't bother you with such things now. I'm going to need a little time to myself to think things through. I have to figure out what to do with myself from here on. Time's up.
We have to choose our own path, eh? Akechi had mentioned that we needed to determine what we'll do from here on out. It seems he was right. We can accept this reality, but that means we'll have to fight Dr. Maruki, right? That's right. We have to confront Maruki and steal his desire. In a way, it's business as usual for us. Dr. Maruki is an adult with a warped desire, but that desire is just a wish for us all to be happy, right? I admit, it's nothing similar to the desires we've seen in the likes of Shido and Kamoshida. The Phantom Thieves only change the hearts of evildoers. Dr. Maruki is quite different from our past targets. Well, I think we already know what we gotta do. Haru's right. Dr. Maruki ain't a shitty adult at all. There are probably plenty of folks out there living all happy in this reality. Who knows? Maybe Dr. Maruki is actually doing the right thing. But we all still feel like this reality's wrong, right? We decide what's right for ourselves. That's what we all agreed on when we went after him in the palace. If changing Doc's heart fixes our reality, then I'm gonna do it. Uh, so... somebody say something? Uh, sorry. I, I was just thinking about how right you are, Ryuchi. So we're going to change our target's heart not to reform society, but to acquire the reality we believe in. That doesn't sound bad at all. Then it's unanimous. Well, that means our next step is pretty clear. Right. Maruki said that he'd be willing to fight if we are too. It's safe to assume he's expecting us to infiltrate his palace. That reminds me. You know that, uh, uh reality bending stuff? Why is Doc able to do that anyway? I've been wondering the same thing. Even if he was the top cognitive science expert, that wouldn't be enough for him to do all of this. If we're going to fight Maruki, we'd better dig up some more intel on him first. Good day. This is Lavenza speaking. Huh? Your will of rebellion has reached new heights. We would like to aid that will, if you find it agreeable. Wait, how is she even calling you? And how'd she know how high our wills are? Oh, <gasps> did she tap your line or something? Her timing was just too perfect. Maybe she actually did. I have performed no form of electronic surveillance whatsoever. Apparently, she can hear you. There's something I wish to tell you regarding your current situation. However, I'm reaching the limit of my communication ability with this method. Let us meet in person tomorrow. It would be best for me to select a location considered easy to reach by all parties. Therefore, let us convene at your school. At Shujin? Wait, she'll be at the school? Lavenza will? In that case, I'll see you tomorrow. She hung up. Is she really gonna go to our school? Just walk through the front gates like nothing? I'm not sure what to make of it. But since we've determined our goal and Lavenza's offer to help us, I'd call that progress of some sort. All we have left is whatever we discuss tomorrow at school, Plus, whether or not we're going to team up with Akechi. Considering what he told us, really does seem like we share an end goal with Akechi, but... Well, I think we ought to team up. Mm-hmm. Me too. Are you sure? Dr. Maruki's strong enough to change reality itself. If we're gonna fight him, we're gonna need Akechi's help. Plus, if he does betray us again, We'll just take him out, too. I guess that settles that. Let's all meet at Shujin tomorrow. I'll take care of figuring out how to get Yusuke and Futaba in the school. I appreciate the effort. Thank you. All right. Let's head home for now.
No. All right. for the night.
Ahem. What is the answer? This is it. Correct. No You've been awfully busy lately. Don't forget to eat lunch. As for myself, be sure to order some jelly-filled bread and... Hmm? That's... Yeah, let's go! Real?
Lady Lavenza. Hello. Thank you for coming. That's odd. I thought humans regularly exchange phrases such as that upon meeting. Perhaps it would have been more appropriate to say, What's up? Oh, well, um... <clears throat> anyway, how about we get this started? As I told you yesterday, there's something I wish to tell you. But first, please gather your other friends here. Here? You want to meet in the nurse's office? This place is filled with the cognition of bed rest. Maintaining my existence in a reality controlled by someone like Maruki is no simple feat. But the exhaustion that it induces is limited by this place's cognition, so I may converse with you all in person here. I... see. Let us continue this conversation once everyone involved has convened. Until that time, I will provide my eyes a much-needed rest. Wait, rest? Uh, Lady Lavenza? Oh, I guess we should get everyone in here. Infiltration success. I'm rather surprised no one took notice of us. Considering how I don't have an adequate excuse for the school to approve your being here, we're lucky it went as well as it did. As long as you maintain an air of confidence, you can fool just about anybody into thinking you belong. I must say, though, I hadn't expected you to actually reach out to me for something like this. Well, it's just as we said before. We've accepted your offer to work together. Now's not the time to let personal stuff get in the way of our goal. But if you ever betray us again, we'll make sure you regret it. All right then. That's no concern of mine anyway. Remember what I told you all before. We share a mutual interest. Until Maruki is defeated, we have a deal to uphold. It appears that everyone's arrived. Does this mean... You're ready to begin? Uh, ain't that our line? Yes. I wished to speak with you about the circumstances that led this Maruki to alter reality as you know it, as well as the true nature of his power. You know all of that? I admit there will be a degree of speculation involved, but only to a small extent. First, I will explain the situation with the current reality. I believe that Maruki has altered the cognition of the masses. In other words, it's thought that the alterations he's made are the result of his meddling with mementos. He changed mementos? How is that even possible? Wait, don't forget about our experience with the Metanav and Maruki's palace. Seems like this kind of thing has a habit of sticking around despite our expectations. Mementos is the cognition of the masses given form. If that man is truly capable of controlling individuals' cognitions, and that man were also to gain access to mementos, it would be no surprise that he could impact everyone's cognitions and affect reality itself. Uh, could he really have done all that? I mean... It's assumed that Dr. Maruki has the power to control cognition, right? Exactly. That man's controlling of cognition... Let's see. Why don't we refer to his power as actualization? Most likely, that actualization is a power unique to a persona. In other words, this man named Maruki is... He's a persona user? That's impossible. There's no way to have a persona and a palace at the same time. Determining when Maruki first awakened to his power is wholly impossible. However, by the time he crossed your paths, there's no doubt that he was making use of his actualization, although he may have only been doing so subconsciously. Even if it is just his subconscious, he's using a persona in the real world. 
So his ability to make Yoshisawa-san think she was Kasumi-chan... It was most likely through the use of actualization. Still though, even if we assume that Maruki has unique persona abilities, such as the case with him and myself, we still need to determine how he used that power on Mementos as a whole, rather than a single individual. Right. Even if there were some kind of power that could affect Mementos, it's on a whole other level from what we've seen so far. A single person just shouldn't be capable of all that. That's true. Changing reality just by thinking about it isn't something humans do. It's something that, like, gods do. And what if he became such a god? What? The god of control. Indeed, the being in mementos that you all defeated was a false deity that the masses deludedly clung to. It is easy to conclude that Maruki simply took over the false god's position when it disappeared. Took over his position? What do you mean? So you're saying society thinks of Doc as a god now or something? Now, the Phantom Thieves are the ones who gained the masses support after defeating this so-called god of control. So it would follow that the masses would turn to the Phantom Thieves next as their savior. In that case, why did they instead turn to Maruki, who did none of the work the Phantom Thieves did? Mm. Wait, you Wait, what? You, what? What do you mean? Do you mean? We, we never wish for anything, anything like, like this. Like, 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 is that really true? It's most likely because... What? After we defeated the God of Control, we wished for reality to be like Dr. Maruki described it. And it happened? Uh, I don't remember doing any wishing with you guys and Doc. I mean, <laughs> when would we have even had the chance to? What about our counseling? Looks like you all walked right into the spider's parlor. There's no way of knowing how many of those situations were intentionally orchestrated by that man. However, the result is still the same. A desire for his actualization was seeded within your hearts. Thus, I have no doubt that it was your own desires that led to their actualization. So this is all our fault, huh? We're the ones who told him the cognitive world really exists, too. Right, let's fight. If this is our own fault, we've got to be the ones to fix it. Yes, this realization changes none of what we must do. Very well. Then allow me to proceed. This world is in a very unstable condition currently. On the day that the God of Control fused mementos with the real world, the merging was undone through your efforts, and the two worlds are now attempting to return to their initial states. So, what you're saying is this world has reverted to a state where the fusion with mementos hasn't been totally undone. That explains why Maruki's palace was visible in Odaiba. Even as we speak, Maruki is still influencing this world in places where its boundaries are blurred. As slow a pace as it may be, he still continues to actualize the world of the masses as a whole. Should this continue, reality shall merge with Mementos once more. The two worlds will again become one. When that happens, any 
everyone trapped within the actualized world can never again awaken to the original one. No. This issue goes beyond the masses as well. Although you are all Persona users, it would be next to impossible to defy Maruki in a world completely under his control. To be clear, once the two worlds conclude their fusion, there will be no chance of your success in this mission. And... I believe this fusion will conclude in one month's time. We only have a month. If memory serves me correctly, February 3rd was the date Dr. Maruki gave us, right? Could he have possibly chosen the time limit based on when his actualization will be completed? It's possible. If that's the case, we don't got another choice except to steal his treasure by then. We'll need to secure our route to the treasure by the second so we can send our calling card. Then, on the day of, we're most likely going to have to fight Maruki. Allow me to produce the calling card. This is certain to be our final card. I'll pour my heart and soul into its creation. Be that as it may, there are still some unsolved questions. Right? What's the deal with the palace's name? Doesn't seem to affect the app's functions, but... That must also be a product of Maruki's cognition. He most likely learned that you could somehow infiltrate the metaverse. As long as he permits your existence, your method of infiltration will not entirely disappear either. However, in his heart he must have feared you would learn his identity as the palace's ruler. Perhaps such a feeling took the form of hiding the ruler's name from you. But in that case, why didn't Dr. Maruki just actualize us out of existence entirely? Maruki told us he wants us to accept his world. It may be hard to believe, but since we mutually benefit from his actualization, maybe he really does want us to submit. Sorry, even if it does fix shit for us, I, I just can't accept the world getting treated like that. Let's start the infiltration tomorrow, yeah? And you? Sound good? You're willing to ask me as well. Duh, dude. The Phantom Thieves don't act unless it's a unanimous vote. Hmm. Fine then. You know I have no intention of accepting Maruki's world anyway. Then that settles that. Wait. What about Yoshizawa-san? We may not have summoned her as one of the Phantom Thieves. This definitely involves her as well. Maybe we should fill her in on our situation once she comes to terms with her own. What she does with that information, though, that's up to her. Right. If that concludes matters, I shall continue to watch over you, Trickster. Please show me the path that you choose for humanity. Guess we might as well close up for the night. Hey, once you're done washing that, you can go ahead and call it a... Welcome. Um... Yoshizawa? Have a seat. She's here to see you, right? Now, don't worry about finishing up. I'll take care of it later. Sorry for coming over so late. And thank you for the coffee. It's delicious. Mm. Would you mind if I got something off my chest? Thank you. So, to tell the truth, I saw you all go into the nurse's office today, and, um, I sort of eavesdropped on your conversation. You've all found the paths you want to take, and are following them with such confidence, whereas I'm simply... 
like Dr. Maruki said before, I ran from the truth. I couldn't handle the fact that Kasumi died because of my actions. My memories are still a bit hazy, but even when I remembered that I'm really Samire, I didn't want to accept it. I was still running from reality, where Kasumi is gone, where I had to live for Kasumi instead of as her. No. Like I said earlier, I realized something when I saw you all striving to push onward. I can't keep running like this, but now that Kasumi's gone, I have no idea what to do with myself. Senpai, what should I do? <sighs> you can be awfully firm sometimes, Senpai, but you're absolutely correct. I must thank you for allowing me to unload all of this onto you. I'm still not completely sure what I should do, but I plan to think more on it. I've got to figure out what to do with my life now. Let's reform society! Shift 